Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our video number seven, I believe our last video in our uh, video series on configuration, design tables, and equations. And in this video, I'd like to show you about equations. What we're going to be doing is we're going to change uh, some elements or delete some elements out of our design table and then drive those elements by our equation. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing to remember about our settings, if you uh, remember us uh, setting up these settings, um, we're going to go ahead and open up our design table and we're going to edit that feature. If you remember our settings down here, we had all these things checked where we're going to allow model edits to update the design table and that's okay. So whatever values we change in here, if it's linked by the design table like this one in magenta and magenta values are the ones being driven by the design table like magenta 6 where the amount of holes are going to be in there, uh, we're going to be able to update that. But we also, uh, we should, at least initially, warn us when updating that design. I want to show you what happens when we try to make some of these changes. So let's go back to our original model. Actually, let's go back to our three inch lever, even better, lever without, uh, or a three inch link without the lever. And go ahead and change, uh, let's change some of these values. So if we go in here and change up four to maybe two, we could do that by double clicking on it. We'll get the dialog box for uh, enter entering values for a dimension. We're gonna make that two. And we're going to make it for all configurations. And just let me show you what happens. If we go to the green check mark here, it's going to say change in property here. We'll update the corresponding cell in the design table the next time it's edited in uh, SolidWorks, which is okay. But it's going to do that for that configuration, the derived configuration, and the one next to it, the one next to that, and so on and so forth. You can go ahead and turn this off when you're all done if you click OK for a bunch of times, or you can turn it off globally just by doing do not show this message again and then go to OK. So now the change it for everything. So if we go to update, now we'll have two holes no matter what we uh, what we pick. And if we go to the design table and edit the feature, you notice that that box is unchecked again. So just wanted to demonstrate that. But what we want to do is get back to two holes here. And what we could do with this model is have it driven by, if we go to the configuration manager, It's a teeny tiny up there. Let's go ahead and close that out. There we go. We kind of uh, opened up a different dialog box within the manager over here. But if I go to the configuration manager over here and go back to our uh, basic one, maybe the three inch without the lever, now we can begin to drive this by equation. So we're going to go back to the design table and we're going to edit the table and we're going to delete the columns associated with the holes. So right now, all the columns should say two. So all the ones with the whole, whole pattern are going to say two on now. And we're going to take that column, and just like with us, like in mobile windings and solvers, you can do the same thing in Excel by pressing the control key, where you delete everything that's associated with those holes and go to delete. Click out here. So now we're free to do with these things as we see fit. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and drive this with the equation. So. The way you do it is you go to Tools, go to Equations, and we're going to add the equation. So let's talk about this a little bit. You have your filters up here, just like you typically do on the bottom if you use your selection filter. And let me pull this in so we can see this a little bit better. We're going to start with the global variables. You can add a global variable here right now by saying A is equal to a certain value, B is equal to a certain value, and then refer that to that later in equations. Or linked values will uh, appear here. If we had a more complicated model, we had some elements in here. If we wanted to link some values to, we could put that in there. Features, you could suppress or unsuppress features, uh, depending on uh, what you want to do here. And that could be uh, put in there also. But what we really want to do is go down to equations. Now, this is a different dialog box in 2012 than it has been in the past. And it's a little bit more user-friendly. Plus, it gives you a little bit more in a way of options. So we're going to go and add an equation. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. And what we want to do is click on this hole, which is part of the hole pattern here, the linear pattern, and get that value and just click on that. So you'll notice that that is no longer magenta. It's just plain blue, as it should be. And instead of actually writing out the equation, it actually segregates it for you. So it puts the equal sign in there, but you can put in other values in there too if you wanted to. And there's some mathematical e e functions and so on and so forth. So it's going to say that uh, the dimension one in the whole pattern is going to be equal to, and we're going to double click over here and click on this value, which is driven, still driven by the design table. And then we're going to add one more element to it, and we're going to say plus one. Now it's going to evaluate to, if you just click over here, it's going to evaluate to that value. And that'll be four. So if we go to OK, 
it will now be four. If we go to uh, the 11 inch one with the lever, what value should that be? We double click over here. It's going to be 12, and now there's going to be something a little bit different here. You notice that that 12 now has got that summation sign in front of it, which means it's a SolidWorks uh, notation that it is being driven by an equation. Okay, that's equation simple enough. I'm going to do one more equation. We're going to save that for the next video, and that'll be all for this series. And we will see you then.